Neighborhood community shout outs. We got all the whipped cream out. <laughs> yes, we did. Sorry we missed shout outs last week, but with me not feeling so well, it was a little difficult. I'm feeling much better now. So, okay, I want to start out by giving, forwarding a message that Terry Johnson sent to me. She got this message on Facebook. This lady gave her healthy dog a pill called Comfortus to prevent fleas and ticks. The dog got really sick within four hours after taking the pill and then passed away a couple of days after that. Just a heads up to you guys, if you heard of this medication for your dogs, beware that um, it may or may not be an issue to all dogs, but to this lady's dog, it did cause an issue. Just wanted to give you guys all a heads up about that. We have a few people to welcome to the community, so let's get started with that. We have Kara's Life on the Farm. Welcome back, lady. We sure as heck missed you. And she has a channel, so go by and check out her channel. It's an awesome channel. Maddie Love 623. Welcome to the neighborhood. Patricia Jackson. Welcome to the neighborhood. Desolate Emerald 1290. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood, and they have a channel. Go on over and check that out. Petra Tahar, welcome to the neighborhood. T Sky, welcome to the neighborhood. T Sky has a channel. Go by and check that out. Jid Lid, welcome to the neighborhood. Also has a channel. Go check that out. Blue Eyed Angel. Go check them out. Welcome to the neighborhood. Benavidez. Laura Benavidez. Welcome to the neighborhood. Josh M. Welcome to the neighborhood. Crystal Ricks Dennis. Welcome to the neighborhood. Funny Games. Welcome to the neighborhood. Has a channel. Go by. Check them out. G Money Forever. Welcome Welcome to the neighborhood also has a channel. Sherry Raynor, welcome to the neighborhood. Kim and Kids over from Mum Vlog 80. Welcome to the neighborhood also has a channel. Go by and check them out. Okay, we have some birthdays that we had for the month of September. Happy birthday to Journey from Tea Life Family Vlogs. Happy birthday to Kaden from Mom's Vlog 80. Happy birthday to Lucy Owl. Today is her actual birthday. Happy birthday to Sarah Presley from Meet the Presleys. Happy birthday to Gothman the Soul Keeper, Greg Myers. Happy birthday, belated birthday, it was September 6th, to William Fulwell Shia. Shia Cook. Happy birthday to all of you guys. Hope you had a great birthday and many more. Okay, thoughts and prayers. Some of these might be old and may be updated since I've written them down. If they are, please let us know so we can update the community as well. Tanya Longley, her boss's girlfriend's mom has cancer and congestive heart failure. Between her boss and his girlfriend, they have five kids. He is going away, so Tanya is stepping in to help his girlfriend with the five kids and her sick mother. Very nice of you, Tanya. So thoughts and prayers go out to that family. Very Merry Vlogs. Vince was very sick and needed to go to urgent care. Positive thoughts and prayers for a speedy recovery for, for Vince. Not sure how he's doing now, but hope he's doing well. 
Liza's family vlog. Her father had two small or had a small stroke and has a blood clot on his brain. Thoughts and prayers go out to him. That was on the 17th of September. Hoping he's doing much better now. Um, Julie Hauselberger's husband is in the hospital because he has an infection in his knee. Um, this was just the other day I read, uh, watched the video on that. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Julie, and your husband. Music Lyrics 15. His friend's grandmother was recently diagnosed with a brain tumor and the grandfather has lung cancer. What a bummer. Yeah, how horrible is that? So thoughts and prayers go out to your friend's family. And Peter DeRoos, he's always told us that he's been sick, but he has never gotten into detail with us about that. Um, he told us today he had rheumatoid arthritis, but he has recently been diagnosed with a blood cancer. So thoughts and prayers go out to you, Peter. And as always, thoughts and prayers go out to Elijah Mainville, Jock. Drax Shadow from Mom's Vlogs 8. Okay, my question two weeks ago was, what is the strangest dream you have ever had? I'm going to read Dougie Styles. The strangest dream I can recall was one where I was house hunting and Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock came along to give me advice. Spock used his tricoder to analyze how well the houses were built. I think we got a Trekkie on our hands here. A Trekker. Trekker. Excuse me. Destiny Swan. My strangest dream is not really strange, but kind of cool. I had this dream many years ago. Not even sure what or when, but I was painting a picture of water in the ocean, and the strange part was while I was painting, the painting seemed to be coming to life, and the water was moving like small waves. It was pretty cool. Yeah. She said she'd like to know what that dream represents. She had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's what it usually means when I get those dreams. <laughs> Emily Vaughn, she said, funny, you should bring up weird dreams. This is totally going to out me as a bit of a nerd. But just a couple of days ago, I ended up taking a nap and had the weirdest dream that I, w dream that I was a doctor who on a spaceship trying to save mankind from angry, scared aliens that sort of resembled Slender Man. Now that I think about it, I have no idea what prompted me to dream that sort of thing, but it was entertaining. Laugh out loud. Later, my ha other half told me I was talking in my sleep a few times. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Can you recall any of your strange dreams? Not really, but I'm sure you <laughs> bring up the pencil one. <laughs> yes. So that's, uh, that's about it. Kevin I had... Go ahead. No, 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 you don't. Kevin had a dream one night that, um, and he was talking about pencils in his sleep. Uh, I wasn't talking about pencils. You asked me what was wrong, and I said nothing, pencils. So okay. That's all I said. Okay. And then I asked him in the morning what it was all about, and he had a dream that he was walking barefoot and pencils were coming up out of the floor, stabbing him in his feet. Painful. And feel it and everything. I wanted to buy a dress that had pencils all over it. Then they the made box. fun of me. Everybody <laughs> made fun of me. All the Lucy Owls made fun of me. <laughs> you made fun of me. That was not nice. But we love you. And I like, um, I think it was uh, Sherry Tate who said that she, she doesn't remember her dreams. I don't always remember my dreams. I remember glimpses of my dreams, but I don't remember my dreams. 
except for one. I remember this dream that I had. It was a reoccurring dream that I had always had when, ever since I was young. We lived in this house that had a long staircase. And I used to stand at the stop, top of the staircase and I used to be able to float down the stairs. And I had that as a recurring dream for most of my young childhood life. I don't have it anymore, but I, I, I used to. Now I don't remember most of my dreams. I just have glimpses of them here and there. So, my question for this week is, how do you like to spend a rainy day and why? Groovy man. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <laughs> I almost said shout outs. <laughs> I'll take the little one. Okay, so two weeks ago, I asked a question about a movie from 2007 called Trick Er Treat. There's another movie called Trick or Treat. This one's called Trick Er Treat. Mainly because there was already a movie called Trick or Treat. So, and the question was, why did they use little people to play children in the movie? And obviously, or not obviously, uh, they had long uh, recording periods uh, way into the night and they couldn't use children because of uh, um, the uh, t time of night and what do you call it? Child labor laws. So they used, um, since they took advantage of them not wearing masks, they used little people. Like me, I could have been one of those little people. Okay, so the question, <laughs> uh, the answer, people who answered that was Jess Lucera, Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, The Abyss 92882, and Gothman the Sword Keeper. Woohoo! Tonight's question is about a ghost story. One of my favorites, actually. Uh, 1988, The Woman in White. Ooh, we have that. Right, um, starring Lucas Haas. And um, um, the question on that one is, um, it's based on a, on a legend, story, legend. Um, what legend is that? There you go, guys. There's your question of the week. Your trivia question of the week, and that's it. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there watching us sit here and do what we do. That's right. We love you all so very, very much. Make sure you go by and check out Monday Night TV Movie Trivia and all our other stuff that we do. Thumbs up. And we, we will see you next week on another episode of Pigs and Spades! Shout outs! Neighborhood community.